Well, I was with another mission group. I was in the country of Haiti, and uh, Dr. Sammy Simpson and Sammy Platt were making a visit to the missionary, the, the global outreach missionaries in Haiti, and I met them. <clears throat> and uh, they said, well, asked me the question, was I interested in ever coming back to be, being a full-time missionary again? And I said, well, at that time I was in full-time evangelism. I had left the mission board and was in full-time evangelism. So they asked me that question and I said, uh, I'm certainly open to what God's will is for my life. I found out uh, when I met them and who Global Outreach was that I had been invited by my superior of the other mission organization I was with to survey the land. So I was actually uh, the American representative to survey the land, the 66 acres that Global Outreach bought and uh, now I'm in Haiti. Little did I know that at that time. When I surveyed that land, I made a statement uh, <clears throat> that's rather humorous and it tells you how much, what a sense of humor God has. I said, nobody but a fool would ever come to this desert and attempt to do anything. And five years later, God found a little fool and sent him to the desert. And I've been there now 25 years. I'm director of uh, Global Outreach Haiti. My wife and I have been for 25 years. I was invited about 10 years ago to serve on the Board of Directors for Global Outreach International. I've served on that for 10 years now. Uh, about four years ago, Brother Sammy invited me to uh, be a part of the leadership team, which runs the day-to-day -day operation of Global Outreach. So to do that requires a lot of conference calls between Pete, myself, and Sammy, and uh, on occasions when there's uh, they need to get a hold of me. That's the way we conduct that. And uh, when I'm in here, we usually, they bring me up to speed on what's going on. And uh, that's the way we've uh, been able to handle that. Uh, this past November, I was elected uh, president of Global Outreach International. We are a mission sending organization. We are constantly uh, looking for, and people are applying to become full-time career missionaries. Uh, our objective is to spread the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ to the uttermost ends of the earth. That's our mission, uh, the mission of Global Outreach International. So uh, <clears throat> when we bring them through here on, in uh, mission orientation training, uh, we make sure they leave here with that in their spirit. Doesn't mean to say that they're always gonna follow, but we, we leave, let them leave here with their mission in life is to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Realizing that there's a lot of people out there doing humanitarian works and a lot of people involved in a lot of things. But our ultimate mission is, as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, is that we are his witnesses, regardless of where we are and who we are in the world. In 1970, Global Outreach uh, was founded as a foundation. Uh, Sending basically at that time was involved in helping people to help others in, in agriculture. And that has changed over the years from the agriculture missions that it was started out to be to what we are today with over 200 missionaries in 40 countries of the world. And uh, prayerfully, God has used this organization and is using it today to bring glory to Him. For many aspects, we're, we're sharing the gospel in the field. We have people who are involved in, in different countries and in, in different ministries. Uh, I, I think uh, of uh, many we have in, in the medical field. We have uh, doctors and nurses and all in, uh, in Ethiopia. We were part of a hospital in Honduras. Uh, our own mission in Haiti, we're involved in a burn clinic. Uh, <clears throat> but every one of those, and regardless, I think Global Outreach, we could say, is a very multifaceted overall ministry. There, there's people out there that are involved in not only in medical, but in agriculture, uh, in seminaries, in Bible schools. Uh, but every, everybody's, regardless of what their ministry is, prayerfully they are pointing people to the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Global Outreach International is involved in discipleship uh, in our Bible schools, our uh, seminaries, uh, <clears throat> Bible studies. Uh, most of our missionaries are involved in, in home Bible studies, home cell groups, and there again, regardless of what country they're in, they're inviting people into their homes, into that cell group, into that uh, local Bible study. Uh, the whole purpose is to get them 
past religion and to become followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Most of our uh, donors, supporters, partners become involved with a missionary from usually their local area uh, and they start supporting that missionary and the next thing you know we've got them not only involved in that missionary, they, they've been exposed to missions around the world and we bring them in every year to our annual mission conference. Uh, a lot of people come into that and, and they get a, the overall view of what missions is all about because usually uh, at our mission conference we've got 20, 25 uh, different countries represented uh, of our 40 some countries we'll have somewhere between 15 and 25 representative at our mission conference. So as the people make their way through all the booths and all, they, they get a feel of I'm a part of something a lot bigger than Haiti or Honduras or Guatemala or wherever it might be. People can get involved with Global Outreach International. Uh, first of all, and I think the most important thing is prayer. Uh, a lot of people think because they give, that's all the missionary needs. They need his financial support. That's not true. The greatest need every missionary in the world has, if he's a true follower of Christ, he needs prayer. And so there's nothing that will ever replace, all the money in the world will not replace the prayer covering that every missionary has. But not only do you get involved uh, prayerfully, but then you will become involved financially. Uh, I believe you pray where your money is, and when people are supportive of a missionary or of Global Outreach International, the home office, all, they're going to be praying for the, the mission, the missionary, and uh, many times we find those same people who are our partners, who are the ones who have been praying for us and given to us. Finally, God puts a call on their life, and the next thing you know, they're involved. Not only uh, many of them get involved in short-term missions, they go out for a week, uh, 10 days at a time, they come back, God lays it on their heart, and the next thing you know, they, they're, uh, they're making applications to become missionaries. And, and, and I've trained many who have been on short-term missions to Haiti. I've trained them right here uh, as they go through MOT to go out to other, other countries in the world to become career missionaries. Why do I do what I do today? Is because God still, the God that called me, saved me on April the 22nd, 1977, put a call on my life five years later. He is still on his throne. He's a God of yesterday, today, and forever. His call is just as real to me today as it was the day I surrendered to him. I struggled for two years with, that, with his call upon my life because I didn't believe that the sovereign God who created the heavens and the earth and this universe that we all are a part of today could look down at four billion earthlings and choose somebody like me to be an ambassador for him. He did. And uh, I'm still in awe of that. I can't believe it. Uh, that of all the people that God could have chosen, He chose me. And that call is just as real to me today, 29 years later, as it was the day He called me. Well, I'd just like to invite anyone who might be watching this video, uh, come and be a part of Global Outreach International. We are a family. Uh, there's a lot of mission organizations and a lot of opportunities that people have to go and become involved in missions. But I want everybody to know we are a family. Global Outreach is my family. Every missionary is my family. I pray for every missionary uh, that we have. I pray for this home office on a daily basis. They are my family. Uh, and when they're hurting, I'm hurting. And when they're excited and, and souls are being saved and things is transpiring in their lives, uh, we're all a part of that. Uh, we are a close-knit family. And so many organizations that I know and missionaries that are involved are not a part of a family. There are a number of statistics out there that they've been sent out. 